Hey guys, welcome back. I've been trying to get some content out, but as luck would have it, I was gonna have the transmission in the truck, get all the brackets on, get the transmission cross member on, start putting the truck back together, do the roll pan, and put out some content, but let me show you guys what I've run into. I don't know if you can see it very well, but if you look, that front bearing in this pump is chewed up pretty bad we'll take a look when we get it out but i have been calling my local transmission guys nobody will call me back so i thought you know what for the cost of a couple of tools that i might need and some time i can probably just do it myself so that's what we're going to do today we're going to replace this front pump bushing put a new gasket in it a new o-ring set the pump back in it and then we can start getting the truck back together so let me get you set up and i'll show you what i'm going to do you're gonna need uh, gonna need a half inch socket, something to pick the O-ring out from around the pump itself, a hammer, seal driver kit. Probably only needed one, but I I only had a couple, so I bought a set. And then I bought this set off of uh, Amazon that came from a transmission rebuild company. It came with a front seal. It came with the front bushing. The washers you will need and if you can see in here it came with the pump gasket and the o-ring so let's get set up we're going to pull this pump out uh, i'm probably going to paint this since i've got it out and then we will put this bushing or bearing in uh, put the pump halves back together and i'll show you how i do that Okay, I guess you guys seen, I had to take some screwdrivers and get that, uh, get the pump pried out. Everything so far looks kind of, looks very clean. I will show you on the inside of the drum, I'll get your opinion. Uh, there is a, there's some rust in there. I'm not real sure if I like that or not, but let me get this gasket off. We're going to break this pump apart and replace this bushing so there we go there's that this should be half inch as well everything else looks really good may need to get an impact for this ratchet's not gonna ratchet's not gonna do it here Okay, just looking at the internals here, and from what I see, everything looks good and smooth. I know these gears, from what I've watched on YouTube, I am not a transmission guy, but if you'll notice, this inner gear here has a dot on it, so we're going to take this out and lay it to the side just like it, uh, just like it came out, and I also laid my bolts out just like I took them out. This gear, I don't see any markings. There may be one on the other side. Let's get this gear out. Come on, one hand. Let's see if I can get this thing out. There we go. Come on, you change hands. I don't see any markings on this gear. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna leave it. We're gonna put it back in just like we took it out. So we'll put this face down, and that will go in it like that. So now we got to drive this bushing out, and I'm gonna paint this front pump. But let me show you what I was talking about when I open this up. Look at that drum. It's got a little rust on it. I don't know if that's good or not, but this transmission has been sitting, but think it'll be okay maybe so let's get this let's get this bushing out 
and I'll paint this front housing and we'll start putting this thing back together. Okay, guys, here's what I wanted to show you, if you can see that. That's what that front bushing looked like. That's why I wanted to change it. Would you have changed it? Looks pretty rough to me, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this up. We're going to paint this front cover, and then we'll start the assembly process, so stick around. As you saw, we got our front pump cover painted. We're ready to install our seal. And when uh, I got to thinking about this front drum here that had the rust on it, and as you can see, I just took it out. I took some uh, light Scotch Brite, not very abrasive, cleaned off. It was more or less surface rust. I could have probably rubbed it off with a rag, but it was concerning to me, so I cleaned it up and. Uh, Wiped it down really good and clean, make sure I didn't get any contaminants in my transmission, and then I coated it lightly with some automatic transmission fluid. So now, and oh, while I was looking, I always heard you wanted the eight bolt pump cases. This one actually happens to be an eight bolt pump case. I have a six bolt pump, but if I ever wanted to upgrade to that extra, those extra two bolts, that would be, that's good. So let me get you set up. We're gonna put our, um, front bushing back in we're going to assemble the two pump halves together we've got a special clamp here that aligns the halves and i'll show you how i i do that and uh, we'll put the front seal in it and get the gears and everything back in it and stick the front pump back in the transmission so let's get it put together okay nothing special here guys uh, when i did drive out the old seal i used in the video you saw I used the 50 millimeter because it's actually smaller than the pump housing itself. But when I put this, this new bushing back in, I'm going to use a 52 because it's a little larger than the pump housing. And I'm going to drive, actually that one almost fits inside. So I think I'm gonna get the 53 or 54. Let's try that because I'm actually gonna drive this bearing for us with the inside of the pump housing. I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, 680 Loctite. It's for like uh, bearings and bearing mounts and things like that. It's not real strong, but it'll hold this. I've cleaned the outside of this with um, brake clean. Got it good and clean, got in here good and clean. And then when we put the gears back inside here, I am going to give them a nice little coat of Vaseline, as well as when we put the pump house or the O-ring in and the pump housing together, we're gonna to use this to squeeze them together to line them up. Now, I'm not gonna put my, my O-ring or my gasket in here until I got the, the pump assembled, the pump halves lined up and tight, and then we will, that way everything's in alignment, we'll torque the bolts uh, to the recommended torque specs get it aligned and put it back in the transmission. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you on time lapse. We'll get all that done and we will end out this video.
Okay, guys, now that we got the two pump halves back together, these bolts are still loose. Just pay attention when you put your bolts in. You've got two the same size, two the same size, and then one long here at the top. So the reason you want to leave these loose is because these are not in perfect alignment. These bolts, these bolt holes have a little bit of play in them. So what you're going to need, let me get you set down. Sorry for the noise, guys. I've seen other guys use two big radiator hose clamps and put them together. I actually bought this one. Uh, probably about as cheap as I could buy two of those. But what you want to do is align this up around the outside and tighten it up. And once you get this tightened up and you get your two pump halves aligned, then you can torque these bolts to the manufacturer's torque specs. I would give you those, but I look my stuff up online, and if I do it wrong, as far as a torque spec, I don't want you guys to do it wrong, but um, I'm gonna get me a manual for this. I've got a manual for the actual S10 body, but I don't, since these, since the S10s didn't come with turbo 400s, I don't have a, a spec manual on this, on this pump. So we're gonna get this tightened up. We'll get these torqued. We'll get our O-ring around the outside, get our front pump seal in, and then we will get it installed. Okay guys, I stopped you for just a minute because I made a mistake. Not really a mistake, but something I wished I would have done. I wished I would have put my seal in first because I don't want to beat on this pump with it sitting on that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my seal back out, take it back apart, lay this flat down, and put this in, the front pump seal. And for you guys that are doing this inside the transmission, if I were doing it, basically what I would do is take a, a two before and tap it in straight and, and drive it in. So I'm gonna get this part, get this back in, and we'll we'll try this again. Okay guys, I'm still learning transmissions too, so here we go. I'm gonna put this in, but before I do, another trick I've seen on several YouTube videos is there's a spring in behind this seal. And sometimes when you drive this seal in, you can knock this spring out, so uh, one of the tips that I've seen is guys will pack this full of Vaseline to hold this spring inside here. So we're going to do that. Get this seal drove in and put it back together with our band clamp just like we were. We'll get back to where we were and then we'll get it put in. Okay, we're caught back up. I got my front seal in. We're going to put our gasket. Typically the riding faces up. Um... It doesn't have any instructions, so I don't know if it matters, but just make sure you align all these holes up with all the holes. Make sure your holes line up. Don't forget your new washers on your pump bolts. So let's get this in, and we'll uh, close out the video. We got the pump in. Got it all torqued down, and it's ready to go back in the S10 so we can start making more content and get uh, some of the good stuff like putting the cross member back under it. I've got a two quart extra capacity pan. We're gonna calibrate our dipstick and hooking up all the wiring harnesses for the S10. What started out as a simple seal replacement wound up being a front pump bushing replacement. But hey, you know what? I got to tear this thing apart. I got this painted. Um, I did look up these torque specs and I'll tell you, I found these online, 17 to 19 foot pounds on each one of these bolts as well as bolts that hold the stator, which is the second half of this. I believe that's what that's called. The second half of the pump on the back, 17 to 19 foot pounds. I looked all these specs up, do your own research, you know, double check, double check my torque specs. Cause I am not a transmission guy. I've been building car engines since I was about 14, but these things I haven't tore into. Um, I'm gonna learn. And that's what we're here to do is teach each other and learn from each other. So if I did something wrong, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll leave all of the parts for the seal driver, the seal kit, uh, anything that I used in this video will be in the, in the description below as always.
I appreciate you guys stopping in and watching. And uh, if you like this kind of content, again, hit that subscribe button before you leave, and we'll catch you in the next video.